Coach, two in a row, two in a row on this homestand. A nice win today over uh, Stephen F. Austin, 74 to 58. In the first half, Michael Ertel put on a show. Uh, Mike played great in the first half, and uh, you know, first of all, I think this was a great win for us, just for our team. And, and, and they're a good team. Picked to win the Southland for a reason. Uh, we needed to beat a good team to feel good about ourselves and feel like that we're a good team. And so, I thought it was a really important win. And Mike Ertel got us off to a great start. The way they play their man-to-man -man defense, they're really out in the passing lanes. Uh, they do this against everybody. It takes some north-south dribbling uh, to play against them. Mike did that, and also when other guys penetrated, kicked out to him to some open threes, he got going there a little bit, and so we were kind of trying to get it to him. Deshaun found him a couple of times. Uh, uh, that's a good sign for Deshaun that, uh, he, you know, his, he, he has the ability. He sees somebody's hot and try to get it to him, and Mike was great in the first half. Had a 13-point lead at halftime. You knew this club would make a run. They're so talented. Got it down to single digits, and I thought your team showed a lot of composure down the stretch. Yeah, I knew they were going to come back. You know, I told our team that, you know, everything's not going to go great in this game. They're a good team for a reason, and then, and, uh, and sure enough, there in the second half here, it came a little bit. And uh, I think they cut it to six or four. And But we had a little spurt right there, you know, a little six-hole run that kind of pushed it back out, which is a sign of a good team or a team that's understanding important moments in games. And I was really proud of that because then it went back out to ten with two or three minutes left, and that becomes a different game. Very, very nice job by our team at that point. And when SFA made that run, J.D. Williams made some baskets. He finished with 19 points. Yeah, J.D. played well today. Now, you can see how athletic he is. Uh, and, you know, he's just kind of scratched the surface. I don't think he really knows how good he could be because he's he, he's uh, elite. He's an elite athlete, electric. And uh, and if he just if he can get that motor running all the time with that athleticism, I think our fans are going to see some unbelievable plays here for the next year and a half. Also had an opportunity late in the game with uh, Deshaun Smith. Spread the floor, let him go one-on-one. -on -one. He finishes with 14 points, but maybe as important, he finished the game with a career high seven assists. Yeah, Deshaun passed the ball uh, well well today to open people, as I mentioned earlier to Mike. And, uh, and then the other thing, he's feeling better with his hamstring. He's feeling a lot better. So he's putting the ball on the ground a little more than he was. It's been a little more each game. He got fouled, uh, and that's that's a big part for our team with Deshaun is he's got the speed and quickness at times to get fouled off the dribble. We don't have much low post play, so we need to get fouled with, with our guards. He provided some of that today, as well as J.D. SFA came in here as one of the top rebounding teams in the Southland Conference. You were even on the boards this afternoon, 35 each. I think that says a lot, too. We did a good job. Uh, you know, they're hard to keep off. They had nine at half, and uh, but they're hard uh, to keep off the glass. They're an aggressive team. Their nose points toward the rim at all times. And uh, but, but you know, our, our team was up for the challenge. We challenged them uh, to rebound with them. We challenged them to defend them. We challenged them, you know, to be as tough as them. I thought we held our own in that respect, you know, the toughness area. Uh, uh, and so I was really proud uh, with them uh, with the rebounding effort. We talked about the importance of this stretch of home games in terms of your team's development in December. you got another game coming up Tuesday against Nichols. What's the next step you want to see? Obviously, you want to continue to win and build a little bit of confidence as you go. Well, uh, you know, speaking of rebounding, we got to continue to emphasize it and, and work on it because we're not a team that – just can turn away from it and it'd be okay. We got to constantly work on it uh, because we're so thin out there, physically speaking. You know, so I think uh, you know rebounding something that we got to keep, you know, improving, improving on and and our second half defense. I, uh, you know, it was a little better today than it's been in in the other games. Still not where it needs to be. We must lead the country in first half defense. It's unbelievable the percentages that we're holding people to in the first half. And then we must be at the bottom of the country in second half defense so that's something we've been talking to the players about and uh you know we got to find a way to get that a little better in the second half and i think we're doing a pretty good job offensively you know we tell you what when we spread that floor and and can make some threes and and get people spread spread out we're pretty hard to guard and uh even without a low post uh play and uh, uh so we want to stay on that same page keep sharing the ball and and, uh, you know, try to uh, get some rhythm going into conference play.